This week's Michigan Lottery Excellence in Education winner is Samantha Tucro from Sutton's Bay Public Schools. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> we have a video from your nominator. Let's take a look. Samantha Tucro was nominated for this award because of the amazing work she does in our district to ensure that our indigenous students receive the support they need, not only to succeed academically, but socially and emotionally as well. What makes her invaluable is that her work also extends to any student in need of support. We're a very diverse school, especially for Northern Michigan, and that diversity can pull us apart. But with her help, we've been able to celebrate our differences and grow as a community. She focuses on inclusion and empowering students, staff, and families. All of our students deserve a bright future, and her work here is so important because she sees education as an opportunity to break cycles and be successful adults. We're grateful that Samantha shares her passion, talent, heritage, and heart with all of us at Sutton's Bay School. <laughs> what goes through your mind as oh. you're watching that? Oh, wow. Mrs. Porter definitely knows how to get me with all the tears. <laughs> I'm so grateful from the, for the district I come from. Um, you know, we, we strive for excellence in Northern Michigan, as any educator does. Um, being Indigenous myself and a Grand Traverse Band of Ottawa and Chippewa Indians tribal member, education has never came easy for us. Uh, we've built through a lot of systematic places that was difficult in education, and I'm so proud to have the support that I do from Sutton's Bay to uh, thrive in the work that I do. <laughs> so I'm, I'm extremely proud, for sure. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about what the Indigenous Education Director does. Oh, gosh. And on a day-to-day -day basis, I couldn't even tell you what my job title is. Uh, you know, my, my important pieces in life is to ensure that I uh, empower every Indigenous, students, Indigenous student that I can within my district. We go from student mentorships to building cultural identity pieces with our students to increasing college um, education um, to ensure that our students are, you know, increasing NWA, you know, scores each year and building those skills for life, social needs. We look into the excellence of having the opportunity to just thrive in that moment, in that day at school, and um, be positive in the moment, and to remember who you are as Indigenous people. So it's a lot, and uh, in the gist of it, I want to say that um, the students thrive every day, and they grasp who they are, and we find a place to embrace ourselves in the community, and and it's amazing. I, I love it. <laughs> and what is that like for you when when you see the change in a student when maybe they start out and they're not so sure of themselves or or who they are and then all of a sudden it just is like yes oh man you know we each year I always have a handful of kiddos who take uh, take me by you know my breath um, it takes my breath away I I uh, get a chance to you know witness some of the most despair moments in their life and to thrive make them thrive today and in, in society as indigenous humans uh, and and let them know that we can break those cycles and perceive a better life. They 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 prove me wrong almost every day, and I love it. And um, to better yet, they prove it to themselves. And so it's the most powerful moment that anyone could ask for. <laughs> and and so why is it important to you and Sutton's Bay Public Schools to acknowledge the indigenous community throughout your school district? You know, we uh, I speak a lot about this. We are the one race who are who is less uh, percentage wise to graduate high school the one race that is least to attend higher education in college and we're the only race that is giving free education through treaty rights and with that it makes no sense to us um, the system has generationally been difficult for indigenous people to thrive in academics um, from our boarding schools into today's society. And so understanding those barriers and wanting to break those cycles for our community is significant to Sutton's Bay and um, to myself there as well too. Tell me about how proud you are of the students that you work with. Every single day I cry. <laughs> and so everyone actually always laughs, there goes Mrs. Tucro in her tears. <laughs> and I'll joke with them, wave my head and hands and walk away and say, ah, I'm gonna cry. And, um, and they see that. They see that I'm proud for them and um, I, I want them to feel that. It's, it's uh, a moment that we all have, that passion that desire and to you know give a student a, a child the opportunity to feel that um, they they see it and I feel it and 
I hope they feel it every day and it's, it's the best. <laughs> what advice would you give other teachers? My advice is to never be afraid to think outside the box. You know, we, we tend to wake up, go to school, attend, um, you know, attend our normal day-to-day -day routine. Uh, some days we get stuck in a pattern and some days we have to step back and say, what do we need to do for that next that next phase to to help with our students and the place that they are and um, break those cycles yeah. be be there to understand each human where they are and learn who they are culturally and help them thrive fast forward 20 years from now you run into a former student what do you hope that that student says to you about their experience in your classroom i hope they said that they had a joyful experience that they felt welcomed and they felt important. Most importantly, they felt important. <laughs> well, thank you for what you do. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Samantha from Sutton's Bay Public Schools receives a $2,000 check from the Michigan Lottery. Excellence in Education Awards sponsored by the Michigan Lottery, providing more than $28 billion to public education since 1972.